previously on Car Trek. One, two, three. Oh boy. Wow. Oh. Break, 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 break. Oh, 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 oh. What do you need for the caddy? How about 2200 bucks? That's what I'm talking about. Get all this stuff for me! The big day had arrived and I awoke first to find a treasure trove of toys left for us by jolly old St. Auto Tempest. They clearly knew that Hot Wheels, my gateway drug into the car world, was exactly how to get me excited for our final challenge. I'd been such a good boy this year, I decided that it couldn't hurt to get a head start on breaking in some of the new tracks. That ought to do it. What is, oh yes. Wow. Um, Merry Christmas. Hello, uh, what's this? It, I came downstairs and there was a stack of presents. For me, they had my name on it and it was all Hot Wheels stuff. I love Hot Wheels tracks. Uh-huh, so you think that this Hot Wheels track is for you? Of course, it's Christmas morning. Yes, I'm about to test it for the first time. Here, watch out. And here we go. It, it's uh, it's That's just like your Maserati here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time it will work. Yes, yes, yes. It's not gonna work. Oh, ah. There we go, that's what it needed. Uh-huh. Mona 2. Here we go, Mona. Yes! Ed, how long did it take you to do this? I've been up a while. You know, sometimes I think Ed's actually a member of Minson, and other times I think he's just a child. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Ed, you're 35. I know, look at that. When I was younger, they were smaller. It's brilliant. Yes. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a text. Oh, it's from Auto Tempest. Merry Christmas. We hope that you and your cars have enjoyed the week of preparation. Today is the big day. Near the hearth, you'll find three stacks of presents. Your names are atop each one, and you should take your stack of presents, pack them in your car, and then take them to this address. They are each for some very deserving boys and girls. Right. So uh, this entire elaborate track that you spent all morning on uh, is not for you. But well tested. Okay. They work most of the time. Yes. Well, let's see what else we've got. Oh. Wow. They're great. Dude, these are... Are you sure we can't keep these? Absolutely not. They're for the children. Oh, now you say that? Of course, of course. Your packages look a little small. Well, I'm a Maserati owner, but these will fit perfectly in my Maserati. Yeah, small problem. My Audi's a lot like this Audi. <laughs> in about as many pieces and uh, sounds like that, so I'm out of commission. I have no car. I can't deliver these presents. I guess I can ride with you. Well, Tyler, there is one more present that's really for you. So let's go get dressed, throw some clothes on, and I'll meet you outside to show it to you. All right, I'll Are put you, on pants. I got him something? I wanna, oh, I gotta put pants on, okay. Oh. Hey, Tyler, can't see it yet. Oh, can't see it yet. Walk, don't walk into the, oh, step. Just, just well, a moment. You're not really covering my eyes at all. No, I can I'm, see no, everything no, right no, now. It's something different. Why don't you wanna that? touch my face? I, it's uh, the things. Dude, you're gonna Ta-da! Oh, hey. All right. 
Poopy Santa's Cadillac, yes. I yes. found him last night, and knowing the destruction of your Audi, I knew we needed a replacement. Not a lot of used car dealers of unreliable hoopties around here, but look at it. Santa, of course, wanted five, six thousand dollars, but I had twenty-two hundred dollars left from Auto Tempest, and Santa being the shrewd negotiator that he is, we met right smack dab in the middle at twenty-two hundred dollars. Twenty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Yes, this is a very, very unreliable car, but it is a very nice luxury car. This is a custom coach work. It's more hand-built than, than those two cars over there, really. What? Yes! So guys, I looked it up and we have a 268 mile drive to go today. And these cars aren't exactly known for their reliability. I mean, mine is, yours isn't, and this car is a ticking time bomb. Yeah. So we have to load these things up with presents. So I suggest we get started. Right. Good call. Oh, North Star, come on, please. It's a beautiful machine. It is. Boss hoggish. <laughs> After a week of decking the halls, wrecking our balls, and bounding these hoopty sleighs over hills of dirt, we had one final mission, to deliver gifts to deserving children in the oldest Baptist church in St. Louis. Mona was still roadworthy despite radiator damage that Ed would call inconvenient. Freddy's brakeless wonder was showering the tri-state area with mineral oil, but my Cadillac was fantastic. A Cadillac DeVille Fleetwood Limited, a custom coachwork Cadillac. I like this gift way, way better than the last gift. This is in my wheelhouse, a very comfortable land yacht. Oh, this thing is so smooth and comfortable. The seats, oh, that deep cushioning, the ride is just heavenly. I don't feel a thing. Oh, this is a car, man. Oh, yeah. Now these DeVilles don't have the best reputation with that North Star V8, but I imagine this is going to be more reliable than any of the cars we've had so far. Christmas morning and we're delivering gifts to kids who need them. I really feel good about this. I think that we can spread Christmas spirit just a tiny bit. Now, the Rolls Royce obviously isn't the best way to do it. You probably wanna have a car that wouldn't have a problem going a few hundred miles. But to be perfectly honest, the Rolls Royce ain't too bad. The engine's good, the transmission's good. It's very comfortable in here. It smells horrible. It smells absolutely disgusting. But I think for a final challenge, this really is quite good. Now, over the last week, I have used this car in ways that Rolls Royce never, ever, ever intended. It went on a rally course. It didn't beat Santa, but then again, who can beat Santa? Oh, oh sorry! Break, 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 break! Oh, oh, oh. And it proved that even the cheapest, most unreliable car can be quite good if you give it the chance to be. Run, run, Mona. Car Trek's got to make it to town. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Christ, but it's also a very special time for us to spend with friends and with family. And these guys blur that line for me in the most beautiful of ways. The chance to have an adventure like this and to spend time with them celebrating our love of all things automobile, even things very broken, I think is just wonderful. If we had followed Auto Tempest instructions and bought reliable cars, this would have been a non-event. No one would have cared to watch and I wouldn't have cared to do it. What makes these trips special is the adventure, is the thrill, is the excitement of not knowing what's gonna happen next to us or the cars or the road ahead. I give Maseratis a hard time and most of the time they deserve it, but I love what Mona has done, what she's persevered through and what we've achieved together. I know she'll probably start leaking. I know I've got all the arrow lights. But I'll tell you what, you can throw her around, you can do what you want. She has not missed a beat. I don't care if you beep at me. We are going to save Christmas. We're going to make it to the finish line. 
the odds are against us, but I'll tell you, I believe in Mona, I believe in Christmas, and I believe in us. I got no brakes. Guys, I have zero brakes. I have no brakes in this car. I'll come around in front, and then uh, you just roll into me, and then I'll stop us both. All right, I'm coming. Oh my goodness, holy cow. Oh, crap. All right, I'm in front. Just throw it in neutral. That's neutral. All right, I'm in position. Just roll on up. Oh, oh. oh. Ah. Goodness gracious. Ow, ow, ah, 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 ow, oh. Man, that hit harder than I was expecting. Poor Mona. And oh. I'm rolling back, I'm rolling back. Like a well, okay. Um, so, you all right? You okay? <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I, I take it that uh, your short-term mineral oil solution uh, was not a long-term mineral oil solution. It seems that way, yes. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? That he, that he deserved that. Howdy. Yes. Hi. So it's about time. Yes. <laughs> uh, Freddie and I are going to need to exchange some insurance information. Yeah, no more brakes. My car's dead. It, it, it's not going to. It runs. It runs beautifully. Does not stop. Finally. I figured it wouldn't last today when I bought you this thing, and it's lasted way too long. Finally. So you think it was a good idea. You're smiling about it that you bought me a car that almost killed me had not have been for that Maserati. Oh, you're, you're fine. You're That's absolutely right. fine. We've both been more successful than you at this game. My car is still flawless. Okay, so we have to save Christmas. Wonderful. Yes. Well, All right, so we got to get your present, yes. load them in the Maserati, and I'm sure you want to ride in Mona. No, I'm, I'm, that thing's not going to make it at all. Absolutely. I'd rather do it the entire trip. Your with, life. I'd rather do the entire trip in this car. That this is the entire trip for this car. Okay, Mona. fine. Okay, Teddy, I have six extra inches in the back, just ready for you. That's where they go. Freddie, did my gift do what it was supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, it, it it did very poorly on all of this. Why'd you get me such a bad car? <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. Now, hop in, we can save Christmas in the Cadillac. Yes. Oh, 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 <laughs> right? Okay. Was that really necessary? Well, I figured, <laughs> I figured your door didn't work. It's the last car. <laughs> What have, what have you done here? Uh, hey, the door has broken. It won't, it won't open. Can well, you not get out? No. Oh. Excuse, excuse me. Huh. Tyler. Okay, since we're being honest now, this door, uh, well, this there is all I have with the door. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There we go. That was the Mercedes. This is a Cadillac. Oh. Uh, shall we save Christmas? I guess. I was just starting to like that roll. <laughs> Hopefully this does better than mine. While I was a little sad to leave my rancid rolls on the side of the road, I was glad to finally be in a car that didn't know the meaning of the word unreliability. However, it did seem to get increasingly familiar with the phrase catastrophic failure. This is going to be fun. Oh. You hear that? Yeah, that's that's spark knock. It's very clackety clackety clackety. Oh. Oh, oh no. Uh, 
that's the smell of the North Star going supernova. <laughs> that's what that smell is. That is a very strong smell of coolant, yeah, yes. The temperature's holding. The temperature's holding. The temperature's at 194. It's making a, a wonderful noise. It almost sounds like a, like a teapot boiling over. Um, it says check coolant level. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. It's uh, not supposed to say that. Santa hasn't been very charitable. No, no Santa was not doing full disclosure with that, I believe. No. I, I, <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. That that cooling temperature That's is gonna good. gonna just rise and rise and rise. <laughs> oh Damn. boy. Now the North Star strikes again. The three wise men will have no star to guide them. No. No. As the North Star explodes. It died. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of smoke coming from the hood. That's uh that's some internal engine damage there. Hey, hey, hey. This engine really is it's about to go. very loud. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is this is sketchy. Just be be ready with the brakes. Yeah. Because if this engine locks up, we're, we are yeah. skidding off the road. <laughs> oh, hang in there, honey. Oh, you can make it, maybe. Yeah. 196, we're good. We're good. That 196 is a good temperature. Yeah. It's a good temperature That's to be at. Temperature. Uh, it's smoking pretty good out the back. Oh, this is... It just popped something. Yep, yep. yep. Here we are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just made it to the church on time. <laughs> oh, smoke. Okay. Oh, right. that's that's inside the car. <laughs> oh, that's... That's that's a lot. That's cool. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> ah, wow. Watch your hands. Oh, you think that's a problem? That might be the issue. Well, uh, car broke. The coolant started going to the cylinders. Tyler, be careful because it like it might rupture or something. Ooh, uh, maybe it's seized. Yeah. I don't think this is making it to St. Louis. I don't think this is making it out of this parking lot. I, I really think we need to call somebody. I call AAA, but there's no service. So radio, please, radio. Yes, that. This? Yes. Hey, Ed, could you uh... turn around and come get us? The uh, North Star just went supernova. Are you telling me that I won again by buying you the most unreliable car? Could you please just come back and give us a ride? Why does he have to do that? You want Mona to come and save Christmas for real? Could you please just come back and give us a ride? So can you phrase that as you now need Mona to save Christmas? Please come get us. Thank you. I'm away. Was that necessary? It's Ed. He's gonna be gloating for the entire 200 miles. Mona, it is time to save the day yet again. Somebody order an extra luxurious Uber? I know it's a good thing that you're here, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's a good thing that you're here. <laughs> to yeah. save the day! <laughs> Santa ripped you off big time. What happened? That North Star had a bad head gasket. It did not last very long. No. It's completely dead and like shot all the smoke. Everything you could shoot out of an engine has come out. 
It went from bad to worse very quickly. Very quickly. Yes. It's well, dead. I'm glad to know that I have not lost my touch at buying you terrible cars. So come along. We'll save Christmas. Um, it's full in there. Yeah, We're gonna do this. We'll find a place. Okay. Dashing through the snow in my Maserati. Over the hills we go in Missouri today. To the church we'll get and give the kids their presents. If they don't fall off the roof and we don't crash into a tree. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in my Maserati. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I want to go home. Yes, there have been a lot of fluids in this car trek. We've had mineral oil, we've had engine oil, we've had lots and lots and lots of coolant. Yes, yes. water. The car trek substitute for coolant. Yeah. It's very it's abundant and it's right there and it's free. That's right. It's hot. We I have to keep it hot. Does the heat have to be on? The heat has to stay on, yes. But Freddie, you're the wrench man. Why does the heat have to be on? because when the coolant runs out, it's just gonna overheat no matter what. So Ed's awesome fix was to put epoxy on the radiator and epoxy doesn't stick to plastic all that well, especially when it's hot and pressurized. So uh, the epoxy breaks, the radiator leaks, and now the heating circuit is basically cooling the engine down. So we are acting as the cooling system. So you are the warranty, I am the radiator. Yeah, we're the radiator. No, right we are the radiator. The heater right core is the yeah. second radiator. And these, these yeah, jugs, so, there's six at my feet and two here. Right, so we will probably leak about uh, maybe a gallon of coolant every five to six miles. And I think we have about 240 miles to go because you guys didn't make it all that far. It's eight jugs of coolant times 10. We don't have that much water. Okay. We don't have that much time. But right now, the temperature is ideal. It is 91 degrees in here. It is a little balmy for Christmas in Missouri. Is this what jumping the shark feels like? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, what was your favorite thing we did this week? Probably not swimming. <laughs> I'll never let go, Jack. <laughs> Good, because we weren't about to come in after you. <laughs> Watching you swim might not, be mine. Not swimming. Oh, it was a brilliant swim. Yes. Not sleeping in that strange house of horrors either. Wow. Someone was a real animal lover. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong, Mr. Hoover? Not at all. This is a lovely room of death. I think jumping a Rolls Royce is probably the crowning achievement in my career. The faster you go, <laughs> the better it is. I think Ed hitting a tree, all that smugness over his driving. I believe I've had some minor tree contact. Yes. Wow, yes! Oh. <laughs> and then the whole tree shrapnel falls over the whole car. When Tyler was pulled down the hill by the skid steer, I think that was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Stop! You can stop! And then we violently murdered Christmas blow up dolls. Oh, the sound of your Audi destroying the Grinch. Destroy the Grinch! Yes. Yes. Ah, bridge. Good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we made it. Oh, it's hot. Did you notice the heat suddenly got less heaty? I did. Yeah. It's, and the, the, uh, the gauge suddenly got a little, little higher. Yeah. Perhaps we should top her off. I think we probably yeah. should. Yeah. yeah. 
At speed, Mona was leaking a bit less than expected, but after 100 miles or so, she was thirsty for a cold one, so we needed to stop. All right. All right, Tyler, man the jugs. Tyler quickly obliged our parched holiday savior, but as bad as things looked beneath the car, we were all very impressed with how well she was doing. At least I was. I got it. Yeah, you did. Yep. All right, we're only one gallon down. Wow. That's that, roll. That's yeah. not that bad. But that is accelerating for sure. Yeah, time yes. to factor. All right. Yes. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Easy. Bonus it's, sensitive. It's already bent. Tyler, spare jug. Thank you. Stop blowing, Freddy. It stopped blowing? Yes. Huh. Turn it off and turn it back on again. The car? The, the car, yeah. So we've lost our auxiliary radiator just now? Do we lose a blower? The we, we may have lost a blower. <laughs> but it should, okay. Just start pressing buttons. This is a Maserati, so sometimes there's a setting. That, that's the clock. Well, it could be the whole apparatus here. The one thing that was a lifeline in this car is now not here. Oh, shit. Not available. Oopty. It is. Scheduled service expired. Ah, oh, you gotta oh, return it. Go to the dealer. <laughs> Whoops. All right, what do you think? No, I think we. I think we better hurry. <laughs> yeah, I think we don't have much time. So, if you had some reading comprehension ability, and we had followed Auto Tempest directions, what reliable car would you have gotten? Probably a Lexus. A Lexus? I think so. You could do Lexus. You could do Infinity. You could do Acura. I suppose. You could, do, honestly, a 90s S-Class. Those are pretty bulletproof cars. Yeah, they're not bad. They're, they're just getting, they're getting too old, you yeah. know? Yeah. I had a lot of great cars that, that, that just kind of aged out. They're not viable vehicles after 15 years or so, unfortunately. I just got a text here. Tyler, you read it. It's not a text from Auto Tempest. It's a text from the church where we're taking our presents. Oh, OK. okay. They said that they need three wise men. Right. The wise men they had have been absconded. What does that mean? I don't know. It means that someone took them away. They ran off with them. Stole oh, them. someone stole three wise men. Yes. And now we have to find them en route with presents on our roof. Yes. Well, surely we can find a wise man's store. We're just going to go to a gas station to find three wise men? I don't think that's the kind of store a church would want us to go into to get uh, three wise men. It smells like cheap Chinese plastic back here. What was that? So my wise men came with uh, came with a little doohickey. They they talk. Tell me about your day. Please stop and ask directions. So Very wise. So it's an emotional support. Wise man. Doll. Thank you for always being right. I hear you. So, who won this challenge? Not me! Right? That would be a first in Car Trek history, although you would win if the challenge was to buy the most unreliable car. The rules had the highest uh, amount of repairs needed, like way more than it was worth. But I would win because your Audi broke first, making it the most unreliable car. I suppose. But Freddie would win if it's whoever buys the car that makes it to the finish line, which is a pretty justifiable logic. I think we all win. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we have a car that nobody thought would make it. I mean, you broke it good. I did. You broke it real good. And we have gifts that we're delivering to children. Well, uh, mostly, hopefully. Some of them, yes. Yeah. I call this a win. A win all around. All around, yes. So how many miles to go? 
9.9, we're less than 10 miles from the finish line. Mona, keep going, keep your All temperature right. down. Your temperature is rock steady right now. It's doing great, Mona. I'm flabbergasted because that, that radiator was an accordion glued back together it, multiple it still times. It's an accordion, yes. But it's Ow. holding, it's holding. It's a Christmas miracle. This is bigger than the miracle on 34th Street, which I don't even remember what that was. Yeah, what was the miracle? I don't even know. That remember. Santa showed up in the parade? Yeah, that Santa made it. Oh. I have to say, though, and it, it's the same thing every time with these adventures. Like, it doesn't matter how much calamity there is, how much misfortune or breakdowns or misery. It, it's still the greatest thing you can do as a car guy to be tasked with any level of challenge, any level of adversity. But just to get to the finish line with three crazy cars or one supremely awesome car and some amazing friends, guys. So I can't thank you enough for being part of this and for the chance to be a part of it with you. We've learned that three times and we've also learned that Santa is real and he will rip you off if you buy a car from him. <laughs> buy cars on Auto Tempest, but not from Hoopty Santa Claus. After a week of brutal carnage, three dead cars, and one epic drive in a patched up Quattroporte, the gateway to the west and our destination was finally in sight. Unfortunately, since we couldn't keep a cannonballing pace, we were a bit behind schedule and we feared the workers at the church might have left for the night. Hopefully there would be an after hours drop for our automotive Christmas presents. Save Christmas! Yay! Well, we made it, and Mona made it. That's a big surprise, but it seems to be after hours. Uh, but Merry Christmas, guys! Yes, Merry Christmas to you. This makes me very happy because we can spend this Christmas together, share it with you guys, and do something good. Absolutely. From our families to yours, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Oh, we're going now. Ah, yes. All right, let's go. And finish they did to the very last mile with gifts that would leave any kid with a smile. In three cars they began, and in one they finished. Unexpectedly heroic, but also quite blemished. But Mono was thirsty, so they walked out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. How do we justify that we're away from our young families on Christmas Day? <laughs> <laughs> We had to film our Christmas special in October, not because it takes so long to edit these extremely well-polished videos, but because our wives would absolutely kill us if we were not by the tree with our young children on Christmas Day. Yeah.